In this video, we're going to go over how you can teach your dog to go to a dog bed on command. In order to do this, you're going to need a dog, a dog bed, and some really high value training treats. And I'm using chicken liver treats here. Um, just make sure it's a treat your dog likes. Usually uh, the smell of the treat is going to be the most important factor. Now, when it comes to a dog bed, uh, dogs are colorblind. So I like getting a dog bed that is a light cream, white, or light gray for a color, no pattern on it. And I like to get a dog bed that's more like a cushion. So it's going to, the fabric across it's going to be taut. You don't want one that's super duper loose so that if it, the dog moves around, it's kind of creates little ruffles in the fabric because we're going to toss treats in the dog bed and sometimes those get lost in the translation. All right. So um, I also want you to come up with a word for the dog bed. Now, each dog bed in your house should have a different command. I have a dog bed in my in my living room that we're going to show you here in a second. The dog uh, command for going there is actually Venice. The dog bed in my office is called Jamaica. I like using fun command words. The dog's the only animal on the planet that can read a human facial expression. So if I say Jamaica, my dog goes to the dog bed people laugh. That motivates your dog to want to go to the dog bed. All right, I'm going to use my buddy Max. So let's go ahead and check Max out. This is Max. This is uh, the dog bed that I'm going to be using. So what you want to do, and I practice this with Max a little bit, but not a ton. So what we're going to do is I have a bunch of these training treats. I'm going to do this in two different capacities, uh, or well, three different versions of the first capacity and then uh, I don't know if capacity is the right word. Uh, three, two different stages, maybe, is a better way to put it. First one has three capacities. So now this one, like I said, I have that uh, the blanket, but you see it has little cracks right there. So I'm going to make it taut. But when you do this, just make sure that it's like this uh, if you're using a sheet or blanket or just get a light-colored dog bed. All right, so what you're going to do, anytime the dog gets a treat, the treat should go in their mouth first. They should hear the command word immediately after the treat goes in their mouth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show Max that I have a treat. I'm going to throw it onto the dog bed. Venice is the word that I like to use for this dog bed. So as long as the dog has one or more paws on the dog bed, when they lick up the treat, you say the command word and not good Venice, just the word Venice. And be careful how you say it. You don't want to say Venice because that's going to be a different command word to a dog. However you say it is fine. Just be consistent. When the dog vacates it, you throw another one there. Venice. Wait for the dog to vacate. Now, I usually do this about 20 treats in a row. I've done this a little bit with Max, so he's lingering. A lot of dogs will take it and then walk away. Don't call him off. Wait for him to go off on his own. As soon as he does, throw another treat. Venice. And try to throw it so good that the dog, like I said, has to take one or two treats. If the dog's just standing here and just licks it off, it doesn't really work. All right. So throw it in Venice, just like that. So you do this for about 20 treats. Um, the next stage is I'm going to wait for the dog to lose interest or I can distract the dog. Now I'm going to do it with, by tossing a treat over here to distract Max so he's not looking at it. Uh, but for you, I would like you just to wait until your dog moves away. And so I'm going to throw a treat there and Max is not looking. And while he's not looking, I threw another treat on the dog bed. Now, just because we threw a whole bunch, there we go. Venice. Now, because you threw the 20 treats in a row, your dog is going to automatically start looking at that dog bed to see if there's another treat, just like that. Thanks, Max. And so uh, the first stage is to toss the 20 treats. You're probably going to do that maybe two or three different practice sessions for 20 treats each practice session. Um, and try to do this in the same day. You, usually I can accomplish this within an hour or two. So just about a 15 minute break in between. So the first stage is I throw the 20 treats to entice or lure the dog to go to the dog bed. They go there. We, we mark it with the command word of Venice in this case. Uh, when the dog looks at the treat, we wait for him to vacate and repeat the process. The second stage is we wait for the dog to get distracted and we leave a dog treat on there like I just showed you. The third stage is we lure the dog onto the dog bed until the dog goes sit, Jamaica, crash, Crash, Jamaica. That was a lazy crash for Max. So you put him in a sit or an L-A-Y and give him the dog treat and you say the command word instead of sit or crash is Max's word for lay down. So uh, these are the three different ways to entice the dog to want to go here. That's the first stage. The second stage is when you're just hanging out on the couch watching TV and the dog goes to the dog bed on its own. When the dog goes there, then we throw the treat. So I'll go ahead and kind of manipulate, get Max to come off. Go ahead, Max, get it. So basically, uh, what we do is just wait for the dog to go to the dog bed on its own. Now, there's no dog treats there. The dog, the dog, we're not telling the dog to do that. We're just waiting for the dog to do it on its own. And so if the dog goes up there, then we drop the treat or throw a treat better um, as soon as the dog gets up there with one or more paws on there. So now we're just like that. Thanks, Max. Venice. And make sure to say the command word each time it goes in there. So at first, man, every time, you know, I, I see you throw a treat there. So I go over and get that treat. Then I, then, uh, you leave a treat there 
and I find one every time I look away and look back at this place, there's a treat there. And sometimes you take me over there, put me in a sitter in LAY. So there's three ways that condition him to go there. After a while, they'll just start checking out more and more. And then you start dropping those treats. Now I try to throw it at a good arc so that when the dog's there, it's like coming down. They don't necessarily see me throw it. It's not a big deal if they see you throw it, but it's almost better if it's just like, they think it just rains treats when they're sitting or laying down on here. Now I, um, I did this video for a client who has a dog bed that uh, wants to, uh, there's two dog beds Evidently, if I understand this correctly, let's say there's one here and one here and one's closer to the door. One of the dogs like hanging out in the dog bed that's closer to the door. The other dog wants to hang out there, but the dog that's there kind of has taken that spot. So what I would do is take the dog that, uh, that wants to go, uh, that likes to go out in this spot, and I do the technique I just showed you, but toss it onto the dog bed over here. So after a while, instead of wanting to go to the dog bed closer to the door, which is what the client asked me about, the dog is gonna actually be more likely to go to this dog bed because there's always these great things there. There's nothing there. Now, if the other second dog that wants to go there doesn't, I think he probably will. But if he doesn't, then you could just do the same process with that dog and give each dog bed a command. So you maybe call this one Venice and that one's Marina uh, if you want to use an LA motif. Um, so now we can direct the dogs to go there. This is a really easy command. It doesn't take a lot of uh, practice. It just really takes a little, uh, or it takes a lot of uh, skill. It just takes a little bit of time and practice. All right, Max, how about a sit? Sit. This is my buddy Max sitting next to the dog bed instead of on of it. And these are some tips and tricks you can use if you need to teach your dog to go to a dog bed on command.